What's up guys, it's Fatty Mancy here from Real Results Fitness and in this video we're going to learn how to do a hack squat. Now when you're performing the hack squat, there's a few different ways of doing it. Um, you could do it close in or you could do it further out depending on what muscle you want to do. When you're starting, it's best to go a little bit further out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by laying back on the machine. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press up through our mid foot, okay? So I'm going to take a stance that's not too wide and that's not too close. So we're going to uh, press up through our heels and mid foot. And when you do that, you just bring these handles in. Now what you want to do is adjust. Okay. So the main point of doing this exercise similar to a squat is you want to make sure that your knees are in line with your toes as you descend. You want to avoid you want to avoid your knee coming in. If your knee's coming in during the movement, that's going to put a lot of strain on your knee and can lead to injury over time. Another common mistake I see people doing when they're doing this exercise is they're leaning on their toes. If you're leaning on your toes, your feet are too close to you, so you need to spread out a little bit, or the weight's just too heavy for you. And I want you to look at my heels and my toes. Okay? So what you want to avoid doing is this movement right here. Okay, so you want to avoid getting on your toes. That defeats the purpose of the exercise. What you want to make sure is your feet are flat, down, and come up. Okay, we're not doing we're not doing any half reps on this okay so same rules apply we want to try and get our hips below our knees depending on your mobility some of you guys might be able to go all the way down some of you guys might just be right at 90 degrees if you're at least around there where your hips are below your knees you're in good standing otherwise you're gonna put pressure on your knees so we are not going to be doing them this way okay that does almost nothing for us. We want to get our hips below our knees. Okay? And our hip creases below my knees. If you bring it in with your feet a little bit closer, that's going to work more the outside of your quads. If you go a little bit more out, just like the leg press, if you go a little bit more out, that's going to work more hamstrings and glutes. Which is why it's important if you're a beginner to start a little bit wider so you can build a big base. Again, you can bring your feet in and work the outside of your quads. If you go out a little bit more, it's going to work the inside. Remember, if you're working inside, it's going to hit outside, outside, inside. Now to put it all together. I'm going to set up, get my foot placement down, and slowly uh, descend. Realize how my knee is not coming in, okay? We want to completely avoid that. So I'm pushing out, external hip rotation. If you haven't watched my squat video, go watch that. You'll know exactly what I mean. Very last thing you want to make sure that you are doing is keeping your back flat on the mat. That goes hand in hand with keeping your toes. I, I usually see people that are on their toes with their back off the mat. So you want to make sure your back is nice and flush on the pad. Here, and I'm not doing this. That's going to put a lot of pressure on your back and your knees. That's how we do a proper hack squat. Major key alert! Oh, we good now? Oh, we good now? Major bag alert! DJ Khaled!